Midjourney announces personalization. Midjourney also announces it's getting ready to launch video. Leonardo AI has introduced a new style reference feature. Microsoft just released an incredible white paper on a version of lip sync software that is going to blow everything else out of the water with extra features that I have been craving. LTX Studio has had its formal launch in New York. Here's my first thoughts. Midjourney has just announced that it's going to be introducing something called personalization. Now it hasn't elaborated a lot on what this is. It seems to be different from character reference or from style reference. It seems to be something that I've been hoping would emerge. I'd love to be able to have settings <laughs> that you can set at the start of a project and the AI just assumes that for every prompt these conditions need to be met. I mean, it'd be great if you could have project-wide lighting, aesthetics, color balancing, style, and even consistency of image quality. Now, whether that's what it will be or not, I don't know, but I suspect it's probably something to do with the bias towards, if you type in beautiful girl, uh, is the beautiful girl white? Is she black? Is she Asian? Is she, you know, it's like, I suspect that, that it will try and understand the natural project inclinations of the creator. Midjourney has also announced that it's releasing video by the end of the year. I don't know what to say about this other than please, Midjourney, please, please, please include video to video. Video to video seems to be stalling after Runway Gen 1 kind of stuck there. It, it, I, I'm, oh, I'm worried. This is the most important version of AI video from my perspective as a narrative filmmaker. It would be a real shame if that didn't get developed. Leonardo.ai, hot on the heels of Midjourney, has introduced its own style reference feature. Uh, it's looking good. Watch this space for a little comparison test between Midjourney and Leonardo style references. Microsoft, oh my goodness, this is big. Microsoft has ju <laughs> just released a, a white paper for a lip sync tool that is way more than a lip sync tool. It's what I've been hoping for. Look at the examples. So, you know, sometimes nothing happens and sometimes everything happens all at once and you just gotta deal with it. You know, somewhere deep in your soul, there could be some decisions that you have to make. It's about challenging yourself with something you're not quite familiar with. This doesn't just give you incredible lip sync quality, it also gives you the freedom to finally, 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 finally control eye movement. I go out of my mind with, with AI tools where the model is always looking straight down the barrel of the lens, breaking the fourth wall in narrative filmmaking terms. I'm finding it really hard to control characters, to just stop them looking at the lens. So if you're a narrative filmmaker, you know what I mean, breaking the fourth wall, right? Yeah, so I, I can't get them to stop looking at the lens. Well, this tool that Microsoft has brought out it allows you to not just control the lip sync, but also to control um, face direction and eye movement. And it allows you to control these things separately, several key variables separately. So you can have the mouth movement is controllable, uh, the head direction is controllable, and also the, the movement is controllable. And you can control these things separately. Oh, it's really exciting if this comes in. I mean, this thing isn't just a competitor to Emo. This goes several steps beyond Emo. So good news and bad news. Bad news is this is a white paper and Microsoft has said that they're not going to actually release this as an API or a product or a service yet until they feel it can be used responsibly. Now that's a subjective thing. So how long is a piece of string? How deep is a hole? How responsible is responsible? Watch this space. But it does show where the industry is going and the fact that Microsoft has released this is very exciting. LTX Studio, the launch event took place in New York. I watched the uh, video. Really great that it's finally launched, sort of. It's still incredibly hard to actually get access to the beta version. Um, I, I, it's hard, but it's coming. Now, but first thoughts, LTX Studio, from what I've seen so far, is doing something brilliant really well, not so good at the other end. So it's bringing together the kind of one-stop shop tool, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm excited about this tool because of what it's attempting to do. And I think we're gonna end up in a scenario where they'll, we'll end up with 
probably four or five major players in the AI generative video arena. The downside is that they'll all do 80% really well and 20% will be weak. But the 20% that's weak will be different in each tool. So you're gonna have to end up deciding which 20% you can live without. You notice that um, Adobe has introduced uh, AI into its video editing software. That's looking exciting. And again, it's starting to pull together AI resources into single platform tools, which is what we need in a production environment, but it needs to be controllable. It needs to be controllable. Just finishing off, you've got to look at this video by Binary Frame Productions. Gorgeous work, gorgeous work. And it shows the point that I was just trying to make that even though AI isn't at the point where you can control characters yet, if you could imagine, if you're working on a music video, for example, you can still create a consistent theme amongst your imagery. So you, a consistent style, a consistent color scheme, a consistent overall look. The things that you can control, you should control. And even if your narrative isn't solidly connected, anything that gives it a flow really helps to make it look a lot more professional than a lot of the amateurs who are just taking random disconnected shots, sticking them together, and there's no coherence or cohesiveness to them. This thing that Binary Frame Productions produced just looks gorgeous.